Hello friends, in this video I'm going to add Tailwind CSS to the project and I'm going to add the tile when the route is the current route so if we go to the Laravel now Laravel is the active route Tailwind now and Vue.js when we go to the home okay so for that I have opened this TailwindCSS.com go to the get started installation and install with with okay uh, copy this one and go to the terminal paste in after that the npm npx talvin css in it Okay, paste that in, and it's going to create this talent.config.js. We can add uh, the push this one if we want i'm going to leave it for now and we need to create an index.css file inside the row the source so, and paste that in so copy go to the vs code inside the source create new file and name it the uh, index.css and we need to paste that in Save. Okay, after that, go to the mine.js and we need to add the import the index CSS. Okay, uh, mine.js import the CSS here. And we are ready to go. So run npm run dev. Okay. And you see here we have a different font now. Go to the Tailwind. Laravel UJS. Okay, first I'm going to go inside the app.view and here I'm going to cut them and add a div with a class of max with 6xl and mx auto. and paste that in hit save come here and yeah we are in the center now okay after that go to the navbar dot view and here i'm going to copy the links cut the links and add a nav with a class bg gray 300 okay and padding of two paste that in hit save and come here and yeah and also i'm going to add a space x to three okay now it's more and maybe margin bottom 8 pixel okay now i'm going to add the when we go to the laravel i want to highlight this because we are in the laravel page and for that if we go to the next router view.js 
and search for the active links. Okay, so go here and search for the active class. And uh, here we have by default. So if we go here and open the inspect element, okay. And you see here now the Laravel has this router link active. If we go to the Tilewind, now the Tilewind has that class. And uh, this is the router link active or globalis link active class. And if we, if we add this one to the routes, so copy here and uh, go to the VS code inside the index of the roads here paste that in and I'm going to say uh, I'm going to add the link with the BG gray uh, 600 and text gray 300 Okay, hit save and come here now. Go to the browser. And you see here we have a BG gray 600 and text gray 300. And this one. Okay. And maybe the padding too. Yeah, here is the Tailwind. If we go to the Laravel, yeah, we have that one. If we go to the Vue.js, we have that link. That it is for one case. Or if we want only to the Laravel and maybe in the Tailwind add another link, we need the, I'm going to comment this out. Hit save and now go to the navbar. Here in the link, I'm going to add uh, active class and BG gray 600 and text gray 200 here. In the Laravel, I'm going to add another class, so BG uh, blue 400 and text blue 100 and that's active class here for Tailwind is going to be BG Indigo five hundred and text indigo Two hundred. Save this, and also I'm going to add uh, padding two to all. Save and come here, and now we are in the Laravel. If you go to the Tilewind, we have different color Vue.js, different different color. Okay. Okay, friends, that is for this video. Hope you enjoy. You can uh, add, for example, rounded. Yeah, it's more okay now. You can play with uh, the active links in your and go to the references. And here we have the link exact active class or If I go above and you see here we have, a, we can add router link and add custom here and we add a slot. And 
and we add a nav link. This nav link is if we want if you want to create your own link. And here we have the attributes for the properties. Trap is the link, this one. And is active, is exact active. Okay, go and play with that. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one, friends. All the best.